Hi, my name is Michelle Ferguson, and I am the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the Bramley washcloth. For this project, you will need worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn. I'll be using Dishy from We Crochet in the colorway Jade. And you'll need an H 5 millimeter crochet hook or hook to obtain gauge. I'm using a Furls Crochet Streamline Wood Hook. Um, I will link all of these supplies in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the Bramley washcloth is one of my very favorite textures. Um, shameless plug, this is the same stitch combo that I use for one of the sweaters in my book that is coming out in 2023, Crochet Makes for Men. It is one of the very first sweaters that I um, created for the book, and I just loved the texture so much that I knew I wanted to make a washcloth with it. So this is super simple, and it'll give you an idea of what to expect for the book. Let's get started. For this project, once you have determined gauge, you are going to be working in a multiple of two. Um, I am going to be making a 10 inch by 10 inch washcloth, but if you wanted to make another size, you could do that by just working in a multiple of two. So to start, once you've met gauge and determined your hook size, um, you're going to chainless foundation single crochet or FSC 40. So to do that, we're going to create a slip knot and get plenty of yarn here. And we are going to do two chains to start that. And then we're going, see that back bump of the first chain? I'm going to insert my hook into that back bump right there. And then I'm going to yarn over and grab that yarn and pull through. Now I have two loops on my hook. Then I'm going to grab that yarn again and I'm going to pull it through just one. Now I have two loops on my hook again. Then I'm going to grab the yarn, yarn over and grab the yarn and pull through both loops. So that creates my first chainless foundation single crochet. So now, so this is the front, this will be the front of it. We're working in the back of it. So now I am going to take, see those two loops of the bottom of that first stitch? I am going to insert my hook into that. And then I'm going to yarn over, grab that yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn over, grab the yarn, pull through one loop. Yarn over, grab the yarn, pull through two. That is my second. This is my stitch right here. We're working in to the other side. See the two loops or the two bumps right there for the bottom? Insert my hook, yarn over, pull through. Two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through one. Two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. If you want to slow that down or pause it, you can. I also have a video tutorial on just how to do that foundation chainless single crochet, and I will link it in the description. But I'm going to go ahead and work my 40 FSC to start. And you go ahead and do that. You can pause the video and work those. And I will meet you at the end when I have reached 40. Okay, I have done 40 chainless foundation single crochet stitches. Now we are ready to start our repeat. So the rest of the washcloth is so easy. You're just using one stitch and that is single crochet. So we can do a single crochet. If you can master this, you can master um, the single crochet. And the only thing that we're gonna do different is first we're gonna chain one and turn. For the very first single crochet, we're going to work in the back loop only. So you're lo looking at the top of your stitches. You've got these two loops right here. You're going to work. So this is your front facing the one that's closest to you and then the back, which is the one furthest from you. So you're going to work your single crochet into that back loop only. So just go right. Don't even work into. So normally you would go like this. You're just going to do it in the back and you're gonna work your single crochet, just like that. 
Now for the second stitch, you're going to do it in the front loop only. So you got your two loops, you're gonna work into this front loop only and do your single crochet. And then the back loop again. So single crochet and then the front loop again. So just the front loop working into it and single crochet. And you're gonna do that one in the back loop, one in the front loop, all the way across. You're gonna end with a front loop single crochet at the end. So go ahead and work all the way across for 40 stitches, back loop and then front loop, single crochet. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I misspoke on that last stitch. We are gonna work in both loops at the end because if you just do a front loop, you're gonna have like a big gap right there. See how it just gaps like that? So to make it nice and clean edge, we're going to do both loops, single crochet. And it won't be noticeable as you work, um, but and it'll be nice and clean right there on there on the edge without a gap. So for rows two through 35, we are just going to repeat that row one and do the exact same thing. So we're going to chain one, turn, work one single crochet in the back loop only, and then one single crochet in the front loop, one single crochet in the back loop one single crochet in the front loop and repeat that across and you're going to do that for a total of 35 rows for a 10 inch by 10 inch washcloth so pause the video um, and go ahead and work your 35 rows um, and then i will meet you back at the end and show you what it looks like all finished and an optional trim that you can do if you prefer. Okay, here is the Bramley washcloth all finished. I've done through row 35 and fastened off and weaved in my ends. If you prefer to do like a nice single crochet trim, you can. Instead of fastening off, you would just turn and work one single crochet in both loops um, across your top and then down and across your bottom and up, you would just work evenly across the bottom, or yeah, around the bottom. I mean, the edge, the side edge, and the bottom and the top. You would just do it as evenly as you can, and that would just create a nice um, straight trim if you prefer. I like all the texture, um, even on the edges, so I just left it as is. But yeah, that is how you crochet the Bramley washcloth. If you like this stitch, be sure to check out the book, Crochet Makes for Men, coming in 2023. You can subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my email list to get updates on the book and all the details for when it is ready to release. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a wonderful day.